So, <laughs> have a nice afternoon. Uh, first of all, uh, I will thanks to the uh, players for supporting me. Uh, every player has got a, a heart rate belt. I don't know if you know this. Uh, that's, I don't uh, want to make any advertisement, but this is from Polar, this Polar Team software it's called. It's a free download program and you just only need a, a Bluetooth heart rate belt and then it works. Yes, and you see here we have 18, uh, 19 players. 18. Uh, one is missing, or <laughs> okay, uh, two are missing on this screen. Uh, I don't know why. But maybe we can check it afterwards, and uh, you will see here in different colors. Uh, their heart rate and uh, why different colors. We have uh, this gray color if the heart rate is under 60 uh, percent uh, of the maximum and I don't know their uh, maximum high heart rate. You can uh, uh, write it down here inside but I uh, don't know this maximum heart rate so I put 200 at every person so maybe it's different uh, but you see uh, they are nearly all grey. Uh, Jonathan has 124, maybe he's uh, making a, a harder warm-up, I don't know why. Uh, the others are all grey and they will, uh, during this uh, training session, they will change the colors. Maybe uh, someone will get blue, then it's between 120 and 140. Uh, it gets uh, green if it's between 140 and 160. Uh, it gets orange when it's 180 to 109, uh, 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 80 to 90 percent, that's correct, 160 to 180 and it will get red <coughs> if uh, the heart rate will uh, go up to 90 percent. It's uh, from 180 to 200 or over 200 it will be red. So you will see that the colors will change during the training now. Now we can start with the training. As I told you, I will uh, show you a few. You can see that we will not destroy it. Uh, I, as I told you, I will uh, give you some parts of the training, some maybe warm-up tools, uh, maybe some training tools of speed training, some uh, training tools of endurance training. And uh, the first thing, uh, it's, uh, I think it's normal for humble players uh, that they make uh, a mobilization program. I will show you my own mobilization program. Uh, we, uh, it was uh, founded with from physiotherapists and uh, some ideas from my own or some exercises or so. So it will be a whole body uh, mobilization program and it will last not longer than, I don't know, five to ten minutes and these are things uh, the players can make for their own because the ice hockey players do they before they uh, uh, get their shoes and on and so maybe they make it in the cabin or something uh, uh, for their own. So it's really a good thing for injury prevention. I don't know if uh, your actual status is about uh, stretching in front of uh, before a training. So uh, some guys say please don't stretch in, uh, before training. So I don't see it so uh, strictly so close because uh, you can make a, strain, uh, a stretching program also, but just hold it not too long, yes? Uh, we made a, a research study at the university where some students make uh, uh, um, uh, uh, like jumping tests on a plate and we try to uh, check their contact times and the high they jump. And uh, afterwards we make a, a stretching program for 15 minutes just for the legs, really 15 minutes long holding stretch program and what changed. Um, uh, the uh, jumping height didn't change in any uh, way but the contact time gets longer so it's uh, normal. Uh, and after this 15 minute stretching program we made some activation program and then 
uh, uh, the contact times get uh, the best and also the jumping high was the best. So uh, if you do stretching in front before training, so it's okay, but afterwards make some activation work. So that's the main thing. And you can, uh, that's uh, maybe some new information, you can get, make a muscle longer just because of stretching. Uh, that's impossible if you uh, move every angle, every joint in your body. Uh, in the full range of motion, as we uh, call it, uh, once a day, so you never get any shortened muscle. So uh, use the full range of muscle in the whole training, uh, in the morning, in the evening, whenever. So just work full range of motion, you will never get this, uh, this uh, shortened muscle. But uh, we know it happens sometimes, and so we don't stretch and before the training, we make this mobilization program. So first of all, every one, please take uh, such a gymnastic mat and try. Everyone needs enough space to try to open up. Okay, uh, I show it to you just for a few minutes. Uh, this mobilization program. Uh, maybe if you get an idea, you can make this uh, in front uh, before a training. Also afterwards, the only thing which changes is the rhythm. Uh, if you make it for the activation, just hold the rhythm under one second, just move faster. And if you make it for slow down, for uh, after the training, for cool down, uh, maybe then you can make it slower. Maybe it's, they are the same exercises, but make it slower. For the warm up, it must be fast, and you will see it will get warm inside. So uh, we start with the first position. It's a, uh, comfort position laying on the ground, laying on the floor, on the mat. So the first thing, just look at me and you will see the train. <coughs> the first thing is lay down and uh, make one leg uh, shorter, one longer, just from the hip. Uh, move this directly, one, two, three, fast with lay it down your legs, down, one, two. Just move from the egg, one, short, one, short. Okay? Uh, normally you make every exercise uh, between 10 to 20 repetitions, so it must be really fast. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Next exercise, uh, legs on the side, and put your legs on the side. 1, 2, 3, 4. Left to the side. Feet together and the center. And a bit fast. Next exercise, knee to the elbow and to the left, to the right. Knee to the elbow, left, right. <coughs> Feet to the hand. Up. Next exercise. Look. And a bit fast. Okay, next exercise. Hold your leg. And Other side. Next exercise, just with the feet. Rotation, like this. You will feel it, isn't it? Other side.
Yeah, next knee to the breast, and now do this, and a bit faster. <laughs> be careful with the belt, something you can destroy it, but maybe it breaks afterwards. Just move your legs in both directions. Knees together, and to the left, to the right. some exercise in this position, the shoulders, just move the shoulders without the arms, without the elbow, just shoulders, up, down, up, down. Okay, now, exercise like this, and down. Move your 
Difficult exercises doing like this in changing minutes this exercise there are a lot of more exercises on the on the floor but now we get everybody's gray isn't it okay <laughs> normally they are gray <laughs> so now we have to take a uh, more activation higher activation level so we can also do some exercise standing first of all just I have some working sheets where all these exercises are uh, on this uh, sheet, so maybe you can, you can use some, but uh, otherwise you can invent also some exercises. But you know the idea, uh, just mobilization, every angle, every joint, uh, the body must be working. Okay. 
Ja, halt ich habe ein bisschen Immer wieder blau. Ja, schön. Spannend, ich muss ich nehmen. Okay, uh, the, next, the next part is also a warm-up part. Uh, it, we include uh, the exercises of the uh, running technique uh, and uh, we already talked about this, not only high, also low with the exercise, we have to make this in different uh, ways. And uh, I just take one exercise out. You know, uh, children are making these exercises. It's with two steps, like doing this, easily going. Okay, first of all, don't take the hand of your partner to the other room. Okay, come on. If you make these skipping exercises, you see there are 20, 20 different variations of this easily exercise. So some of you don't use your arms, so they are making this like hands in the pocket and doing this. Okay? Come on. Hands in the pocket. Next, uh, <laughs> there was nobody who has done this. Uh, some make this exercise with the wrong arm. Yes, okay, we try it with the wrong arm. Not to be easy. Do 
more exercises. Now we make uh, a really hard contact, like a high jump, try to get up high. The same exercise, like a high jump. Just an easy exercise, just with variation. I don't know, I've uh, written it down sometime. I get over 100 uh, different ways to make this exercise. So um, there are a lot of ways uh, to do this exercise. It's just an easy exercise. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, as I told you, uh, we use different ways uh, for activation, uh, for developing speed. And uh, the first part, you've already seen it at the last exercise, it was uh, training under coordination. There are some coordination exercises. And now we make this coordination under time pressure. And there are a really a lot of funny things to do with maybe some things like this ring. Uh, so there are some exercises like uh, throwing your, this ring and going there. Step inside, step inside, step outside. Yes, come on, try it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Okay, same one, uh, left, front, to your right. Okay, next exercise is uh, just going there. Exercises you can make with children or something like this. Very easy. Go ahead and do some really fast work with the feet, with the hand maybe down. Uh, okay, thank you. So we have a few things with jumping exercises with the children. Okay? So now we make some exercises. Uh, so you already know this uh, agility drill run uh, ladder here. Uh, come on, just a few exercises. Uh, I think you know a lot of exercises doing here. It's just with working with the contact, maybe with two contacts inside. Uh, we we'll start with the exercise fast legs. Okay, you see they have done these exercises before. Exercises doing like this and this, and they say we make fast legs, but 
uh, really for the children it's okay, but uh, for an uh, elite handball players, I don't know, you can use it as a warm up tool, it's okay, but uh, don't uh, hold, uh, invest too much time in this exercise. Maybe I will show you one exercise to the side. You can also make it a front going down here, inside, outside, inside, outside, okay? Inside, outside, yeah. information how the running technique is it's like doing these small part like this so now we make some uh, pre exercises for the next exercise uh, we try to go up like going down up making this exercise over this little bit okay just go Make this exercise 
apologizes to the side. And faster, come on, faster, faster, faster. Running, uh, the easy the running technique is just a dribble extension in the feet, in the knee, and in the hip. You have to extend all these joints, then you can move. And if you see here, you're down, you're small, you're doing like this. And especially when you accelerate, then it's necessary to get this information uh, to uh, uh, extend every angle, every uh, joint. So it's necessary to get in this higher position, it was very good. And now we try to run over these hurdles just with two contacts. Or first of all, let's start with three contacts, doing like this, three contacts, one, two, three. And there is no difference if there is a hurdle or not. Okay? And fast. You see the difference between these exercises and the uh, uh, these exercises with the <laughs> Just do contact. So, these 
are these exercises especially for the acceleration and I don't know if you already got this input. Uh, normally, and it's totally wrong, when you tell children to accelerate, to get fast, which information do I hope all trainers just give the young boys, young girls to get fast. Make small contact, small fast contact. That's a totally wrong information for acceleration. We made some uh, researches, some studies at the university in every, uh, in youth athletes, uh, elite athletes, for example, they all get better acceleration times when they make longer steps. So it's, I don't know if you've ever seen uh, a high class sprinter. I don't know if you have seen him. Uh, there was uh, once in Eurosport, there was a, uh, a video from Maurice Green and he made a start and he's right in this position. So they try to ex uh, uh, get this ex uh, extension in all joints that they get faster and longer and push themselves out. So, and the trainer was standing just beside him and said, longer, longer. Let you time, eh? time to get the uh, force from the crown to the to the body. So that's the information. Not only exercises with small steps and fast and something like this. Doing it like this, all parts of the training. This maybe this is also a good part for you, athletes, for some. But if you have better athletes, then you have uh, to do more exercises with this. Uh, uh, Hurdles, for example, so uh, uh, um, small hurdles, they are perfect for doing this. And uh, there are some researchers, some studies, uh, they uh, told us that we uh, get uh, slow uh, uh, our contact times and, react, uh, and time programs, yet uh, uh, we are uh, uh, not so fast uh, with doing these exercises. Uh, here we can uh, develop ourselves. So here maybe it gets not schlechter, worse, worse, and worse with uh, this small, uh, small context. So maybe it's better to do just part of the training to do it with people. So the next step uh, we have here is uh, this short contact, the short ground contact. So, and now we come from these exercises from running to jumping. So, now we make all of some four exercises. So, stand here, please. And now we can also use these girls. Here, just three, it doesn't matter. So, first of all, when we when we talk about uh, these uh, strange exercises, uh, especially in the field of plyometric exercises, jumping, uh, then we have to know we have we have three different kind of jumpings. Uh, the first kind of jumping is this uh, so-called squat jump. We go down in a squat and without uh, taking any uh, uh, direction, just to get up and go down. Go up and go down. Go up and go down. Okay, just try it here. We can try it here. Not so much. Normally we make <laughs> six to eight hurdles doing this exercise. Tell me when you 
when you make jumps in a training, really when, you, when one of the content, training content is jumping exercises, how many exercises do you think, how many jumps we can make during a normal training session? How many? How many quality jumps? Not, not jumping like this, so quality jumps. How many? 100. It's nearly perfect. 100, if you make 100, then uh, the next day you don't feel anything. We make, when we have a competition the day after, we hold it at 60 to 80 jumps, so it's enough. When you make a training between 80 and 120, so 100 is perfect. But we also had some trainers who made 300 jumps in, uh, before, it, uh, before a match, it was in ice hockey, they made 300 jumps and the team lost 9-1, uh, I think, so because they played against the trainer. But uh, come on, that's not possible because you don't have any power in your legs afterwards. So 100 jumps are okay. Because now we use six, six hurdles, that's uh, enough just for showing some exercise. Okay, the next exercises after the squat jumps are these counter movement jumps. Counter movement means did you take a counter move up and go down and up and down and up and down. Okay? Uh, right here. If you are a good trainer, then you can also look on the, on the legs, in which position the legs are during the jumping. Some of us, I already saw it, when go down and make this. You see it? And I think that's not the best thing for your knees. So uh, try to hold the knees out in this right position, go down and go down. Not make this exercise because afterwards you get uh, really problems with your meniscus or with the tendons outside, so it's not the best. Okay, and these are these counter movement jumps, and the third variation of jumps, and this is the really uh, most necessary jumping exercises, is this with a short. Uh, contact between the hurls, we call it the reactive jumps uh, with the uh, shortening cycles inside. So just hold a really short contact, it's a hot ground. Short. Bang! 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 Short! Starting from your legs, repeat, try to hold this position, go down and a really short if he's a fast player, I, maybe he's the fastest player. I don't know, but I think so he's one of the fastest, for sure. Why I can see this? You see it on the contact time. You have a really short contact time and now we try some exercise. We made these exercises with sprinters, for example. Over 60, 70 centimeters hurls. 
There was, I had a, once a student in Vienna at the university, we made these jumps and he had a contact time under 100 milliseconds uh, with both legs. That means the contact time of a high class sprinter and he was jumping in this 100 milliseconds, 63 centimeters, 63 centimeters. And I asked him, which kind of sport do you make? And he said, soccer, he was once in a, uh, under 17 team in, in, in Austria and afterwards he get injured. Then I said, did you ever try some other sports? And he said, yes, I was jumping 7 meters 60 in school. 7 meters 60 in school. Uh, the Olympia limit is 70, 80, 70, 85. So just to, to one exercise, one dated technique and you will jump the Olympia limit. So, but this guy is fast for every sport. And these guys, we need the really the fast ones, and he don't need to do just exercise it's because nice. he is already fast. Uh, the other we can train this, but just really make a lot of exercises, especially also with the young children. Uh, we don't look at the, if he's making a lot of strange training and uh, doing exercises with, I don't know, uh, squats with 200 kilos. I don't, he don't, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he, uh, if, you are, if you are fast and if you are strong, then it's easy. Okay, okay but you can also try it, right? <laughs> All right, okay. okay. Yeah, without bending your knees. <coughs> Try it. Without bending your knees. Without. <laughs> 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 and these are the, really the, please don't make too much jumps like this before a training or before a match or something like this. But these jumps fit perfectly in the in-season. So to make you fast, I'll make, I don't know, 40 to 60 jumps like this, and this was the jumping training. Then include this training in your, in your program, okay? So, uh, the thing I will just show you because I have to take a look at the time. Uh, we made no. such a, uh, uh, Speed program, not only with uh, for the legs, we also tried to get it for some other parts, and I will show it to you what I mean. And that's a possibility. Normally, the training lasts uh, 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, we have six exercises. Uh, the first exercise is. Uh, normally jumping uh, with a short contact time it's for the legs normally when we make eight to ten jumps how long uh, break do we need what is in the literature what uh, researchers tell us one minute enough more time three four five minutes and it's not possible to make this with humble players to say make eight jumps and make 10 minutes rest and they say hey come on <laughs> this is my whole training so we tried uh, to change the uh, the, uh, uh, the, mus the muscles so i will show you an exercise for the uh, core come on go down lay down lay down oh there's the legs here and we try go up and up and fast. Okay, on, go, one. 
Try to get the same as we had here at the jumps uh, at the stomach muscles. We tried it, and uh, next exercises we also can make this uh, for the for the uh, breast muscles. We don't want to bust. And now. We can make this and look, you've seen, if you take this uh, development program here we made here from the squat jump, squat jumps mean from this position, yes, counter movement made slowly, okay, that's the counter movement, and now we try the same as we made here the legs, really fast, come on, fast, strong, come on. Yeah. Okay. Also, eight to ten repetitions. That's uh, especially for the upper body. Then we made the force exercise. We made some exercise for the uh, again leg muscle. We make some exercises doing like jumping to the side from left to right, something like this. Then we have again the legs. Then we make a next exercise. Also for the for the core, come on, the core specialist. He's standing in this position, and I give him the ball here. Just catch it like this, and go. No, yeah, okay. Let go. Up, faster. Come on, stronger. Yes, come on. Go. It depends, for sure it depends on my throwing technique. If I throw it here, it's not possible for him to make this exercise practice. Try to put it here and breathe. Okay. Other side. Okay. With the hip, activation of the hip. Uh, so we have one leg exercise. Core exercise, upper body exercise with this, then again uh, leg exercise to the side, fifth exercise again for the core, and the sixth exercise maybe for throwing upper body. Up and faster. Come on. And it's just possible that just one of us works not possible that we work together. Yes? Just he's working and I try to put this ball right in his arms, then he can really uh, with a lot of power press it down. Uh, another exercise is this exercise doing also for the upper body, doing like this. also in a really activating way, active. Yes? That's another exercise for the upper body. And we try really to hold the short contact. And we really try to make these six exercises changing muscle groups, legs, core, upper body. And we make this exercise every 10 to 12 repetitions, one minute break. We make some coordination work with uh, jonglering or something like this. Then we make uh, the exercises for the core, then for upper body, and then changing again. Okay? And that lasts, the whole program lasts about 15 to 20 minutes, not long. So, and we have done a really good thing uh, through the uh, two or three repetitions, then it's okay. See you in total. Okay, thanks. If we have the opportunity to work in face to face programs, like, like uh, one to one coaching, then it's also possible to uh, try to get these information with the, I told you, with the uh, rubber bands, something like this, <coughs> or these jumping exercises faster than it's normally possible. It's just uh, putting this uh, band up and jumping uh, just with this uh, 
band and uh, you get a really uh, short uh, contraction time. And it's also possible to make this for the side steps. And I will show you the exercise. Now you will make steps to the side and steps to this side. Okay? From one to another side. And I can This was it. Uh, we have harder bands there, but you have seen this information to get. It's a really hard to get really faster than it's normal. Okay, we can make these exercises, these jumping exercises, which we made before with both legs doing like over the hurdles. We can also make here, it's not that difficult jumping just also with both legs to the side and doing it again the same, squat jumps, counter movement jumps, uh, short reactive jumps, or we make it single leg jumps. It's also possible from left, to right, to left, up, and holding also the uh, exact line on uh, the legs, so we can make this also single. With uh, sort of like doing this uh, squat jumps, single leg squat jumps, single leg counter movement or short range jump. Okay? So we can use all of these things for one leg jumps. So, okay? So, the next thing I will just show you a few repetitions is now this so-called short interval frame. As we talked in the morning session. So, and now uh, we talk uh, <laughs> Now we take the hall, hall. it's 40 meters uh, and when we uh, make it with uh, uh, stop and go, we have 80 meters. One side, 40 meters, back 80 meters. So I told you we make the 100 meters, it doesn't matter, we are on a humper hall, so we can use this 80 meters, we can also uh, use uh, maybe 20 meters and make more change directions, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I will just show you the first thing. We make it uh, this 80 meters in about 20 seconds because uh, we have one uh, change of direction, like maybe between 19 se uh, 18 seconds, so it must be okay. 18 seconds, 9 seconds on one side, 9 seconds on the other side, then to the minute 40 seconds rest, okay? And then we try to make a few repetitions. Okay? Afterwards, we look at the hard range. Uh, you know, nine seconds of the yellow line, you have the line, change direction, and try 18 seconds. Okay? Try, 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 Ten. <laughs> no spring. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. 
Time, so I have to show them their speed and they hold it. They are exactly time. Again, okay, one last. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> but these three is for sure too easy. 
possible if we have for example 20 players you can make five to five uh, offense death defense after this 30 minutes you can make it a bit longer after 30 minutes 30 seconds change the other two teams inside the other offense defense change offense defense and we made this also we tried it in the uh, uh, B license course in Austria it worked the same way just a way of uh, uh, heart rate and how we can uh, control the, uh, the uh, intensity that's the only question yes but if we can make it with normal flow we can also make it with uh, 25 meters or something like this or I don't know 20 meters more to change directions we can make it shorter we can make it just 40 meters in 9 seconds, 20 seconds rest to half a minute, 9 seconds, 20 seconds rest again, so it's shorter, maybe we can make it faster in this way, okay? So it needs about 20 to 30 repetitions at a minimum to get a, uh, some uh, effects for the training and we can also make this for nearly one hour because it doesn't make us tired, just for us. <coughs> making us high, but not for the aerobic system or anaerobic system. High intensity interval <coughs> training and you can make it in different ways also with uh, humper playing but I will show you just a uh, way we uh, reach very high uh, heart rates and uh, this parkour is come with me I will show it to you. We run in this direction, run in this direction, and, uh, and here we have going back, front, back, front. In this position, side step. Seconds, 20 seconds all out, 20 seconds all out, 10 seconds rest, going, 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 
20 seconds or longer. <coughs> Eight times, just four minutes, okay? We normally make 30, 10, 30, 10, six times, or we get the highest heart rate when we make four minutes continuously run in this parkour, then we get the highest heart rates. Yes, normally we don't, we make just this four minutes, but I will uh, look at the boys at the interval. Okay, so I will start counting. Wait. Okay, and go! Beat, 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 beat!
Nearly everybody will red. No. Yeah, yeah, So you have seen that the really hard program, this high intensity interval training, uh, it's very necessary to think about when you use this program. Uh, maybe it's okay using it after training one time for a minute, as we've seen here. Uh, but normally when we want to improve our VO2 max, it's necessary to make this four times four minutes. So it's mm, 60 minutes and it's really hard. And uh, we know it also from Astran, uh, this, uh, the same VO2 max improve from 45 minutes running at the aerobic capacity, uh, at about 90% of the heart rate for 45 minutes and it's the same effect of doing this 16 minutes 95% uh, of the maximum heart rate so uh, I think this is for me the, uh, not say the bad one it's uh, we uh, try to uh, get uh, uh, in contact up with the with the carbohydrates reserves so we don't uh, deplete like them so it's necessary again to think about when which training fits it's also make this uh, training at 90 percent of the heart uh, rate just for 40 minutes it's good because maybe you need it in hand for the carbohydrates reserves but uh, for the uh, for the development for the vo 2 max development the four minute program is also very necessary um, we did it with 2010, I told you, you now you've seen it. We make it normally with 30, 10 or four minutes uh, continuously work. Uh, we tried every, uh, we also make this uh, with some kind of balls for handball, for example. But there are always uh, guys who not make 100% because they stand there in the field. and. Get, we also uh, tried it in soccer, we played three against three, we played it with ice hockey. And it's very difficult to find the right exercise to get uh, to 95% and uh, it's also a question of your technique if you uh, check this with uh, <coughs> technique. But uh, so you don't have to look at any technique, so it's just running uh, one against one, uh, one against yourself. And we put this, we also made this on, on cyclists, on ergometer or something like this. And we put it in uh, the Austrian ice hockey champion. They had this in this, uh, in the changing dressing uh, cabin. They had the ergometer there, the cyclist. And we put this on the wall and there was a fight who wasn't red. It was, hey, come on, <laughs> um, what's the matter with you? What's wrong with you? And so they pushed each other. So it's also possible they see the heart rates that they push each other. Uh, the, for me, the most necessary thing is again thanking, thank you for your support for the work. I think we can give them a big hand. Thank you very much.